Ooh, hello there my fellow modders and crafters, good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hermits and Crafting, and we're flying through Area 77 in our last episode, we built the Hermits in Black headquarters there, and I love this building. I'm going to admit it, I'm in love with it. <laughs> I just love that mid-century modern vibe, and I really think we built something kind of unique for the Hermits in Black that really fits their design, and it looks like the gardeners down below there are hard at work tending to <laughs> the berries. Hello, gentlemen. It has been an entire day, and you're still here. I appreciate the hard work, I do, I really appreciate it, but as for the interior, we're going to be working on this on Twitch, so make sure you follow me on Twitter and on Twitch to be notified when I go live, when we start building out this area. Now there are still a few loose ends here at Area 77 that we have to tend to today, but today we're also starting a brand new project. This new project I speak of was inspired by Hide and Tag, the mini game that we built a few weeks ago. And of course, it is going to be built in a old Western style. And it is going to be themed towards the Cops and Robbers game, but it'll be Sheriffs and Bandits. And oh, there's going to be a major prize for the winner of this game. But first, we need to find a location like we need a lot of room. I've been flying through the server for an hour now trying to find the perfect spot. Ideally, maybe a mesa or a desert, but keeping it in proximity to the rest of the games and the other hermits is important, and I think I found the perfect spot here. Down behind Skara, there is a little valley there that will be absolutely perfect for the first phase of this, not mini game, Super game is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> and that is going to be a bandit camp. So that is team one, the bandits. Team two is going to be down this stretch here. We're going to build some railroad track and maybe 200 blocks this way is going to be a train. Now, the train has been stopped because the bandits put some kind of obstacle in front of it. And the sheriffs are battening down the hatches because the bandits are coming trying to steal those sweet, sweet aqua blue diamonds. And whoever wins, whoever's the last team standing, that is will take home a massive prize. And we're going to make a huge server-wide event out of this. I mean, we're talking an entire stack of diamond blocks for the winning team. So it is going to be absolutely fantastic in a massive, massive project. But as I said before, we've got some loose ends to tap at Area 77. And that is... False Symmetry's Lost UFO, and the Hermits in Black have decided that we are not going to make another UFO to cause any more confusion. We are going to compensate her with a beautiful retro style rocket. It is going to be amazing. And of course, I cleared this with Fall. She's totally excited about the rocket. And uh, I think it'll be really fun. Maybe she could rename this. I didn't even ask her this. But maybe she could rename the diner to like Rocket Cafe. Doesn't that have like such a cool ring to it? And we're going to try to keep to this red theme that she has. Because she's already got this like incredible retro diner. And may I just say, may I just say, let me go through this door here. Look at the kitchen that she made in here. It is so cool and immersive. Look, you've got steaks grilling on the stove in here and you got little bowls on the shelves. Absolutely incredible. So hopefully we do her build justice by making a really cool retro rocket on top of there. So let's hit super fast build mode. Let's see what we can do. super fast Elon Musk mode and we've got ourselves one super awesome rocket here in that definite retro style and uh, I'm really liking that it might be a little too big but uh, I always get carried away when I build and especially when it comes to rockets I love them so much so I think that is looking fantastic cannot wait to show this to falls and uh, I really hope it fits in with the retro style that she captured with this which she did so well on by the way this is another design that you don't see in Minecraft very much is that old kind of American retro diner style absolutely fantastic so yeah Hopefully she could rename it to uh, Rock Cafe. That would be super sweet. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now there is another vehicle now that I'm inspired to make. So hmm, I wasn't planning on doing this because I want to go work on my mini game. Wait, no, super game. <laughs> but 
Maybe we need to build a helicopter real quick. Inspiration is a curse and a blessing. <laughs> because, you know, you got plans, and then you get inspired, and you're like, but I gotta do the inspiration real quick, and I've got myself- Wait, that's not my box I need. Wait, where'd it, where'd it, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I lost my uh, shulker box here in the chest monster, um, but I've got a whole bunch of materials now to build a super cool helicopter for the hermits in black. Oh, oh I was going to jump off and fly in a grand style, but I've got, I've got no rockets. Up, up and away we go with a brand new stack of rockets, and I think we're going to build this helicopter in this spot right here. I think it'll fill in this region of the build very well, so we're probably going to put it about 20 blocks higher than the building, but also not interfere with the flying boomerang. There are so many <laughs> zombie sounds down here. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. <laughs> Let's go to the dark, actually. There's less mobs in the dark. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take an express. No, that block, that's trapped. This was the worst idea I've ever had. I'm going straight out. <laughs> I heard a zombie sound and I'm like, where's that coming from? Let's never go down there again. I can't believe I'm making a helicopter. <laughs> this totally was not planned for today's episode, but uh, like I said, inspiration hits and you gotta see where it takes you. And I believe this is a good height, so it's not directly over the headquarters, but just off to the side, so I think it'll look really nice. So maybe in the future, we could build a helicopter landing pad down here or something like that, I think could be really cool. But uh, yeah, let's see if this inspiration is worthwhile and see if we can make an actual helicopter. Bam! That is how we do Ascarians. If we get some inspiration, we pounce on it, and look at that. We've got ourselves an unexpected, super awesome helicopter in the men in black colors to match the headquarters down below. So I think that is looking absolutely fantastic. Let's fly on inside and, well, okay, well, <laughs> I just flew right through it. <laughs> okay, let's try that one more time. Here we go. We're gliding in, we're gliding in, stabilizing, pulling the flaps back, and look at that. That is a 10 out of 10 landing, and that's that face that gives me nightmares. <laughs> anyway, um, the interior is looking decent. I do want to put like an armor stand in here as a pilot, uh, maybe make a couple little more things in here, and I love these little, um, uh, winches maybe is the right word for this, I think. <laughs> but uh, you, right, so like Doc has one, I have one, and we extend down onto some kind of uh, alien bug or something like that. I think it'd be really, really fun. But uh, yeah, Hermits in Black helicopter is looking super, super fancy. I'm so glad I built that. With the completion of the HIB headquarters and of course the rocket, it's time to hang up Captain Angry Eyes's suit for now. You served Herbercraft well, Captain Angry Eyes. Can we put in the chat a little nice word for Captain Angry Eyes? He tried his absolute best to secure Area 77, and I think he did a very good job. But as I said, for now, we are hanging it up and heading off to some future projects. Seeing this entire area come to life is breathtaking. The skill, the passion and creativity of the hermits is incredible. From Falls creating the town to the hippies creating hippie land and Doc with his incredible redstoning skills, Cub with the drones and the secret spying and of course Zombie Cleo with her armor stands which I still want her to do something in Area 77 with those but it's just absolutely staggering to see the sheer creativity and imagination of the Hermits, and it's such an honor to be a part of them. I just wanted to spend a moment and thank them for just being the best. Ah, new beginnings, my friends. I am so excited. And another great thing about starting this project is we've been building a lot in a modern style, but with this, we're gonna be able to build some rustic looking things. And it has been a while since I built in that style. So we're gonna get ourselves a nice little refresh and building style. So in this area right here, as I said before, we're going to set up the bandit camp. So we're gonna have to clear out all of these spruce trees and of course, flatten down the train a little bit and I guess we're gonna have to get a whole bunch of other resources because we're gonna be building in a completely different style, as I said, from our modern. So we're gonna need we're gonna need woods again. <laughs> it's been so long since we worked with wood and things along those lines, but that'll be fun. So let's jump back over to Scarasic Island and grab some of those materials that's gathering dust. I gathered up all the resources I needed here at Scarasic Island, and I came across this place. Um my official storage room that I built, and I completely forgot about it with the build battle. Area 77, it has been a long time since we've been back here looking for resources, and uh, yeah, so once I'm back from Minecon, 
it's time to fully move into this place. This thing was awesome. It's got like great access in and out of it inside of its little volcano there. So yeah, I completely forgot. But anyway, let's head back and start working on our, I got it right this time, the super game. Set up Shulker Tower here and we're ready to get going on this build. So as I said before, this is the bandit camp here and then the railroad track will start right here and will stretch hundreds of blocks out here to our broken down train that the bandits have sabotaged where the sheriffs are holding it down to keep those diamonds safe and sound. But really in the end, who knows, will win? Whoever does win in the end actually does get a stack of diamond blocks and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So what we need to start working on is establish a railroad track design that's, you know, scalable. And what I mean by that is something that is feasible for us to build in a huge scale. So not something that's really resource intensive or incredibly detailed that we can't build for like, 200 something 300 blocks that way so we got to come up with that and also make a really fun bandit camp now my vision is that it's 3v3 so three bandits three sheriffs so what i'm thinking about is building a camp with like three tents each tent is specific to a different role for the bandit so i think this all sounds really really fantastic and i'm not sure where to start i guess cut down the trees so <laughs> I guess we'll just hit super fast tree harvest mode and cut all these things down and flatten it down so we can build our camp. super fast build mode and we've got ourselves a cleaned out area to start to build now i decided to move a few things around that just made a little bit more sense so this right here is going to become the bandit camp and then there will be a little trail that will meet up with the railroad tracks so when the players on the bandit side will get on their horses and they will go onto a bridge that will go across here and then straight up into the back of the train which will be of course a long 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 ways down that way so like I said before, we need to come up with a design for the railroad tracks and then uh, I guess a bridge too. <laughs> we can't just have a dirt uh, walkway. That would be ridiculous. But where I want to focus my attention now is on the bandit camp here. So my thought process with this is, like I said, three tents and then we'll make a surrounding similar to the way we did that over at hide and seek with the logs going upwards. So I think that'll look really, really fantastic. So give me one second here. Let me grab some supplies. Let's start making those tents. I got a good idea for one. Got the layout for the tents all ready to go here. Each tent is a representation of each of the player and then each tent will then have a unique thing in it for whatever ability that player has. Say it's the demolition guy or the long range character, things along those lines, I think will be really cool. So when the three players go over here, they can decide what kind of style equipment they'll take into the heist. So I think that'll be really fantastic. And then we're gonna build up a guard tower right here and then a pathway outside of the gate up into the railroad tracks over there. So I'm gonna build the tents before I build the wall and the reason being for that is that it is easier to build all this stuff and get it all established how we want and then build the walls around it instead of the other ways around. That would just make things more complicated. So. Inventory wise, I've got some very drab colors a little bit here, but once we get it down, we could add a little bit more color to it. Um, but I'm going to get the tents kind of a real kind of dark brown, kind of shabby, a little bit run down a bit. They're, they're the bandits. So I think it fits really well. I do want to get some uh, white uh, hardened clay as just a little bit of a highlight because we've got, you know, shadows, midtones, and we just need a highlight for our color palette. And then we got a bit of wood mixture and things like that. So let's get building i've got a pretty unique design that i'm excited for you to see this thing is actually coming out pretty darn cool and it's fun to build in that rustic style as i spoke about in the beginning of the video we've done so many things very modern like the rocket house just above us there with scara and uh, here is our tent now i do want to add a little bit more um 
what would be the right color? Some kind of more mid tones in this area is a little bit dark. And that's why I tried to incorporate a few of the spruce uh, trapdoors there. So I think that's a start in the right direction. And then maybe a little bit of vines, things like that can really uh, make it look nice. Now, if we slide into the actual tent here, we'll put a bed and we'll put some chests and things along those lines in here to make that look cool. But uh, this thing was super fun to make. Oh, let's check out the back real quick. And if we look around the back, this kind of support structure kind of angles downward. So it's like if you took a big tree and you bent it over and then tied the canopy together, that's kind of the thought process behind it. And then some more lanterns hanging off of it. This was a, uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. So I wanna make one similar to this across the way and then a unique tent, a much bigger tent in the center. So that'll take a little bit more thought to think about what we should do. The tent city is now complete and I think they have some really fun character to them. So there's kind of the bigger tent and then the two flanking tents on either end. And once we get a little bit of plant life, get a little bit of coarse dirt built into here, I think that'll look really fantastic. I wanna put like a little cook stove in some of these with some smoke coming out of the top. Now I do want to make a big fire pit in the center and then a little watchtower and then a corral for the horses things along those lines I think will look really really fantastic So we still need to decorate each one of these uh, tents, you know for each of the players uh, Particular task now, of course I'm still trying to think of how we're going to do the railroad track that the bandits will follow to the train and of course that goes that way. We have so much more to do We're chopping all of that out. Um, but like I said, I think I'm gonna try to keep it simple. Maybe some stone stairs, get a little bit of gravel for the rock and things like that. We should be able to put something together really well. So let's finish this era together in super fast build mode. One more time, so hit it. End of super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one fancy bandit camp looking super awesome here and yeah I'm, I'm really liking this. We put this together actually fairly quickly and uh, yeah, I love it. So we got the fire, you know, brewing over here. Maybe we could even put some meat on the fire, get some uh, quartz ore. That would be absolutely fantastic. We did something similar with the pillager outpost remodel that we did a few months back. Uh, so we could do that there. And as for the interior of the cabins, like all right now they look okay. It looks like a tent but how do you make it look alive and that is what we need to work on now by adding beds and things that uh, a player would interact with or trying to set the place to to feel lived in and that's such an important aspect in minecraft building is things that get overlooked landscapes and just the little things that make the build come alive so we'll do those inside there i think that'll look really cool you know scatter barrels around here um as for the horses i don't have the specific horses that i want at the moment but i'm probably going to corral them over here and and once we do get the horses that I think would be perfect for the bandits, I do want to have one donkey because I think it'll be hilarious to see the bandits running up the track towards the train and just one of them's on a donkey. <laughs> I don't know why that seems so funny. Um, I do want to hang some lanterns off of these sticks here, um, but I need to craft some more of them because I am out of them. Apparently I only had like 10 of them and I used them all up on the tents. So yeah, that's what we need to work on now. Just adding a little bit more life to it. Oh, by the way, I want to add a bell up there as if, you know, if they see the sheriffs coming or the marshals, they could ring a bell and they can run or, ooh, maybe we can make like a secret tunnel out. I mean, it would be serve no purpose for the game, but eh, I think it would be pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's go get some supplies and uh, yeah. Add some life to the build. The love pillagers are back, my friends. Spreading the good word of peace and love through crossbows. I suspect those crossbows are equipped with flowers because they're all about peace. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's take a look 
at our bandit camp. I've been working on this for six hours. I have not taken my eyes off the screen and I'm loving every minute of it. I think this place came out really nice. You get a good kind of bandity feel when you step through the gate here. We've got some meat cooking over the fire, 1.14 workstations scattered throughout. And I love these workstations, even though they don't have a ton of functionality to them because a lot of them like this one doesn't actually work, but aesthetically they look amazing. They add so much life to a build. We got a bell up on the top there. We're going to put our horses in this little corral there. And if we go inside of our tents, lots of fun things to discover, little cook stoves, and eventually these will be our player classes. So say this is kind of the gunslinger um, tent. We can put like armor here, maybe a crossbow. Moving over to this tent on this side, this could be the explosive class. So we can put, you know, maybe TNT, things along those lines in here. Across the way, maybe the long range class, maybe this is the bow and arrow class. Um, so we can put armor, bow and arrow attached to the wall, things like that. Uh, one aspect of the game that I want to implement is the fact that there is no use Use of a sword. It is all crossbow or bow and arrow. And I think that fits more with the Wild West aesthetic of the sheriffs and the bandits. So yeah, I think this thing came out absolutely fantastic. And I got a ton of inspiration from B Dubs's fireplace over in the new village, the way he wrapped around the trapdoors a fireplace like that. And it looks so cool. So if you guys aren't uh, watching B Dubs yet, definitely, definitely check him out. He's back on the server doing some incredible things and it's so so nice to have him back and yeah b-dubs is the best couldn't be any nicer and one of the ultimate builders of minecraft so yeah it's so good to get him back so i hope you guys check him out and yeah b-dubs that's such an awesome design but we must turn our attention from the bandit village to come up with a track design here so i'm gonna spend a couple minutes here coming up with a design i might do two and have you choose the best one. We got two railroad track designs. Let's decide which one we like better. Now this is choice A. Choice A is just gravel. We got a little bit of oak wood. We have stone stairs going across here. So yeah, definitely let me know what you think of this particular one. This is very plain. So this will be easy for us to replicate for what, like 200 blocks that way. Um, now this one is a little bit more detailed. This is choice B and this one has a little bit of cobblestone in here. So I think visually it might look a little bit better, but a little bit more difficult to replicate, like I said, for such a massive stretch of space. Now we may expand the rail even a little bit further because I want the interior of the trains to have a lot of detail inside of them, places to hide, things along those lines. So this might turn into instead of a three, a five block spacing in between, but overall the same design applies. So which one do you guys like better? Do you like A or do you like B? Let me know in the comments. And there we go, my friends. We had quite an action packed episode with helicopters, rockets and a complete change of gear old Western bandit camp and the start of a brand new project. That of course is the railroad that's going to stretch deep into the forest and it is going to be an absolutely good time with the rest of the hermits playing this massive server event. But until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch videos. If you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated and we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life.